Hi friends, welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. Today I'm coming at you with another solo video, this time talking all about my story, my advice of graduating high school, going to college, figuring out your career, dropping out of school, switching majors, all that sort of fun stuff that after graduation it is so, there's so much pressure to know what you're going to do for the rest of your life and to take all the traditional steps to do that. And I definitely have not taken the traditional route, but I'm about six months away from finishing my bachelor's degree. And it's not in what I originally planned. It's not in what I went to school for to begin with. Um, and yeah, I just kind of want to share my story, give any advice that I have for you guys who maybe um, just graduated or going into your senior year next year and just have all those thoughts reeling. Or if you are post-graduation by a couple of years and you just feel like this isn't what I want to do, or maybe you just dropped school, took a break, and you just kind of want to feel like you're not alone. So that's what today's video is all about. I hope you guys enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you like it, and yeah, let's just jump right on into it. So I graduated back in 2016. It has been four years since I graduated from high school. Um, and when I graduated, I, well, first off, all throughout high school, I had picked so many different careers that I wanted to do. I really had no idea. But come graduation, I decided that I wanted to pursue a career in nursing. It was something I could do at the college in my local town, so I didn't have to move away. Um, it was also something that I knew I could get my degree in within three to four years and then um, start working and make pretty decent money. So I went in this fall semester after graduation and started at my community college um, in pre-nursing classes. So all of my pre-recs and um, my co-recs as well, because my at least my program recommends doing your co-recs before entering the program. Um, so that way you can just fully focus on nursing classes since they are a lot and very demanding. Um, the other thing I would recommend, just kind of getting on that topic, is if you're not set on a career or you don't really want the college experience, quote unquote, you're going to university because you want an education, you don't necessarily want uh, sororities, fraternities, or playing sports, you know, you just don't want that experience, at least right away, then I would totally recommend going to community college. Um, it saves you so much money. I worked and paid for my community college classes myself. So I am going to be graduating in the fall with zero debt, which is awesome. So I definitely recommend going to community college unless you really just want that college experience or you have scholarships lined up or something like that. Community college is such a great option, to, especially to make college cheaper so you're not graduating with so much student loan debt. But anyways, I went to um, community college and started doing my co-recs and I stayed in my town. Um, I moved out with what was in my boyfriend, now is my husband Jason. And, uh, you know, we got our own place. We were just living our lives. Um, for about two years, um, I, two years, year and a half, something like that. Um, I took all of my prereqs, my co-recs for the nursing program and I applied, got accepted into the nursing blocks. So for my program, it is, um, four semester blocks. So two years. Um, and during my prereqs, my co-recs, I got engaged. I planned my wedding. I got married. Um, we got married in April of 2018, um, and so the whole time I was going to school, working full time, um, planning my wedding, I was very, very, very busy, but it was all worth it. So I did that, um, and then right around the time of my wedding, so right after I got married in April, um, I was doing my stuff to get into the program, like I said, I got accepted, everything like that, um, and I was just kind of thinking if that's what I wanted to do. Um, you know, I started looking more into it and just kind of thinking, okay, I'll be working like 12 hour shifts. Um, I'll be gone most of the time. I won't necessarily have holidays off, um, weekends off or anything like that. So I will be working a lot. And for me, I really wanted a job that would allow me to stay home with my kids a lot. Um, something that would allow me to be there for them and all their programs and all that sort of stuff. And nursing didn't really align with that. So I really started debating my decision and, um, that year, right after we got married, we went on our first Disney cruise for our honeymoon. Um, before our wedding, about two weeks before, we had also went to Washington, D.C. Um, with my whole family. And then that summer, for my birthday, we had gone to the grand opening of Pixar Pier at Disneyland um, for about three days. So we'd done a lot of traveling in the first six months of that year. And I got addicted to it. I loved traveling. And obviously, as we can tell from that's pretty much the basis of our channel. 
But um, at this time, you know, I was going into the nursing program and like that. So we had a pre-semester meeting where we sat down, they gave us the schedule for the semester, essentially saying, you know, how much time we'd have to spend doing this and that, when our clinical hours would be, all of that sort of stuff. And I realized I would have zero social life, <laughs> I couldn't do anything, and I might not even be able to work depending because it was that demanding. Um, and for me and for my husband at the time, you know, we had just paid for our wedding, we were doing all this traveling, and now we were talking about potentially buying a house, so like that was our next big goal. Well, if I wasn't working, we were not gonna be able to buy a house anytime soon. So that was a tough decision to make also, as well as I just, I wouldn't be able to travel, um, I wouldn't really be able to see my friends, wouldn't be able to work, like just like all this sort of stuff, everything would be about school, right, which is totally fine. It's just where I was at in life, just being married, setting out all these goals, trying to travel, that sort of thing. It wasn't really something I wanted to do. It was a sacrifice that I wasn't willing to make at the time. So after that meeting, I talked to my husband, talked to my parents, and I decided I was going to drop the program. So two years worth of work um, into this program, getting into it and everything like that, and I decided to drop it. So I did that, I took the semester off, um, and I decided that I just didn't want to be a nurse anymore. Partially because I didn't want to make the sacrifice to go through school, and partially because I knew that it'd be very demanding when I would have kids in the future, and I wouldn't be able to be as home as much as I would like. Um, so I went and got a Disneyland Annual Pass. <laughs> um, essentially, I dropped this class in August, and uh, the end of August for Jason's birthday, we got annual passes to Disneyland. So uh, it was definitely the smart decision for me, but um, when I say that, I always phrase it like that. I'm like, yeah, I dropped out of school and then got Disneyland annual passes. Um, but not entirely true, um, although that is when we got our annual passes for the first time. So I don't regret anything about that. Um, so then it was, okay, well, what do I want to do? Because at this point, I was working at Starbucks and Sonic, and I was a manager at both. I was making decent money, but I did not want to work that many hours, and I did not want to do either of those for the rest of my life. So I decided that since I was working at Starbucks and Starbucks does have a college achievement program that allows you to do online courses through ASU and they will reimburse you for it, that that is what I would do. So I took a semester off to get all my stuff figured out through switching my credits from my community college to Arizona State University and um, the spring of the following year, so I took all of fall off, the spring of the following year, 2019, is when I started at Arizona State University online. And that is partially, again, how I'm able to graduate with zero college debt. So I paid all my community college courses myself out of pocket by working two jobs. And then when I transferred over to ASU, I front about 60%, Starbucks fronts 30%. And then at the end of the semester, once I pass all my classes, Starbucks reimbursed, reimbursed me that 60%. Um, so it's a really great deal. It's one of the many perks of working for the company um, that I take advantage of and I'm so, so, so grateful for. So with doing that, um, I have now taken almost two full years um, after this fall semester, it'll be two full years at ASU and come December, I will graduate. Now, what am I pursuing career wise? <laughs> um, so I am pursuing right now my teaching degree and come December, I will graduate and then have to do some teaching hours to be certified in the state of Arizona, but I will have my degree in childhood education. So. It'll be very exciting. I cannot wait. I do want to be an elementary school teacher starting out and eventually potentially teach either college or high school history. Um, so that's my goal at the moment. Um, yeah, so essentially how I decided that. I think that I've always kind of wanted to be a teacher, but um, when I was graduating from high school, uh, it was not something I would make decent money at. And I realized that. And so I picked a career that I didn't necessarily have my heart in, but that would make more money. Um, and so once I decided that nursing is not what I wanted to do, I really wanted to pursue my real passion. And teaching really is something that's in my heart. And I feel like for most careers, you kind of feel like a calling, or at least you're like drawn to it in some sort of way. Um, and that's definitely how I feel about teaching. So that's probably my second biggest tip is just pursue whatever you really feel called to do. It doesn't matter about the money. It doesn't matter about the status or what you're supposed to do or anything like that. Um, I feel like the other thing that happened for me is teaching is like an honorable career, but it's not something that people are like, oh, this person is like so smart, such a hard worker, yada, yada, yada. I graduated third of my class and not to brag or anything like that, but I, I, I'm a fairly smart person. I feel like I've always been 
you know, people have always thought that I would go off to do like really big things such as become a doctor or a lawyer or whatever. Um, but that's not what I want to do. I really just want to have kids and then be able to teach other people's kids, be a mother, be a teacher, and just help youth essentially. And um, so that's really what I feel called to do. It doesn't matter about the money. Um, there's a saying that I try to live by that my dad always says, and that is you can always make more money, you cannot make more time. And you can always make more money. If I need more money as a teacher, I'll go work on the weekends or do, you know, I'll figure that out when the time comes. But I don't want to be stuck in a career that I hate and I dread going to every single day. And I really think that teaching is what I'm supposed to do. So that's why I decided to pursue that. And I, I right now, I don't regret anything. I am so excited to have my degree and be in a classroom and be a full-time teacher. I am like so thrilled for that. I cannot wait for anything more. Um, so yeah, I just totally recommend following whatever you feel called to do, no matter the status, the money, anything like that. Um, but yeah, so that is where I am at on my career journey, um, my college journey. And I really just recommend to you guys that just follow whatever you feel called to do. If college, you don't feel called to go to college right after high school, then don't go. Don't waste all this money on courses or classes or school. You know, if you go to college, university right out of high school, you're paying for dorms, you're paying for food, parking, all that sort of stuff. And you're just wasting all this money that you're gonna have to pay back in the future. And again, I did not take a traditional route at all. Um, I, right now sitting here, I will be 22 tomorrow. And um, I, you know, I went into a whole degree. I pretty much finished half of my schooling pursuing something I didn't want to do. Um, the benefit of that is most of my credits did transfer, almost all of them transferred. And so um, I didn't waste time or money on those, but I could have easily. Um, but you know, I went to community college and then I finished my degree online in something totally different. I got married, I bought a house. Um, I'm graduating a semester late from what I'm supposed to. If I were to graduate in four years, technically I would have graduated last month. Um, but six months is really not a big deal to me. I mean, it's totally fine. Um, yeah, so I definitely not take the traditional route, but I am sitting here married to love of my life, living in a home that I own, have traveled to the Bahamas twice, have been to so many different places in the US and have a trip booked to Hawaii come January. Um, and obviously been to Disneyland countless times as you guys know and made all these memories with my parents and my husband and my brother and I wouldn't trade any of that for a traditional college experience which is really the only thing I missed out on and not to say going to school is wrong it is such the right decision for so many people and you get countless amounts of good things from that such as friends such as experience connections your degree um, memories all of that it just wasn't the right choice for me and I'm not coming on here telling you guys to do what I did uh, because I realize that is not the right choice for everybody but I am only coming on here to simply encourage you to pursue whatever the right choice is for you and not follow traditional societal standards. Because if the right choice for you is going to a college for four years, living on campus and going to crazy parties or going to football games or whatever, then that is amazing. And I hope you have the best time. If it is going out of high school and going straight into work and building yourself up this company, then I hope that you are so, so, so successful community college, adventuring the world, taking time off, whatever it is that you need to do, just do whatever feels right for you. And don't regret any of it. And don't care what other people have to say because at the end of the day, it's your life and you can't get that time back. So I just want, I thought it'd be kind of fun to share my college experience, especially sitting here six months away from graduation um, in a very unstereotypical, um, untraditional type of setting and path and loving every single second of it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video if you want any more life kind of stories advice videos let me know um just try to make whatever you guys want to see but that is it for me today guys and i will see you in our next video bye friends